Hi, this is Jeff with the YouTube channel, The Wolf of Wisco. In this episode of the Volkswagen bus and the Subaru engine, we're going to be uh, cleaning up the engine bay and also focusing on the fuel system where we increase the flow to the electronic fuel pump. Um, but I want to pull the tank, look at a possible internal in the tank fuel pump setup. And uh, there's several on the market or I could make something otherwise. Put something down externally and run a return line back in the tank. It's okay. It's Harbor Freight Green, Green 13. Okay. A little corrosion on that one. I'm gonna spray it top here. Okay, good. So, that's that. We got both nuts off. So, that's the gas tank. I don't know if the gas tank, you can pull the tank with the motor in. Uh, I don't, do not know. Oh, yeah. Broke off. Okay, that's good. That's what we like to see. Here. Back in there. There's two two hose clamps holding on that filler inlet. This little hatch, trap door. Easier to get to. A little secret stash here. Up inside this access hole, there's the fuel filler inlet. Runs up, runs up there. I think I'm gonna take it off right here. Tank to come out. shape is that in? Rheostat looks. This is brand new 10 years ago. That looks good. I'm going to check that resistance on that. Let's look inside this tank, see what we got. Ready? Here we go. Can we get in there? That's the red coat sealant I put in there. Actually, it's pretty good in there. I don't see a lot of rust. I'm gonna look at it myself. Oh man, that's nice. I've seen worse. I mean, I've seen solid. This was solid rust. Years ago, I split the gas tank on the seam right here. See how it's been welded? It usually sticks out about a three quarter inch. I took the Sawzall, sawed that seam weld and I sandblasted. I'll try to find a pick from 10 years ago. Sandblasted the interior, welded it together, and then uh, and then I resealed it. And it's she's holding up. She's in good shape. That dirty spot here. You see how well this works. Spots that are they'll come clean. So there we go. Yeah. So that's uh maybe I should touch it up with paint while I got what the engine out. That's probably the next step. Find some color matching paint and spray her nice. Alright, we're gonna talk about the fuel tank here on the Volkswagen bus. So I've heard on some of the Facebook sites that the external fuel pump 
like this um, are kind of difficult to make work because the pump's really trying to pump uh, volume and high pressure uh, and problems with cavitation and not getting enough flow. Well, the, the outlet size is about 3 16 on the stock Volkswagen here. And my fuel pump here is half inch um, OD and it's pretty thin wall. Here's a half inch barb fitting that I would like to screw in, somehow connect to the gas tank here. So what I'm gonna do is take it over to my lathe um, and machine it down so it has a feature similar to this top hat style. So I can then bore this hole on this nut and you know, have the barb sticking out with a half inch. That way I can get, I don't know, must be about five sixteenths uh, internal for, th for um, flow. This is a fuel filter from a motorcycle. It's a, a fine me uh, mesh that was made to use with that fuel pump from the same motorcycle. So um, I'm gonna insert this, it'll press fit in there and that'll be a replaceable screen element that I can unscrew from the bottom of the bus, change out the screen. I, I, I just don't wanna run uh, unfiltered gas straight from the tank into the pump. I know they can eat a little bit, but it can't, it's, it's really tough on these, um, I don't know if it's a vein pump or a turbine pump, pump but they don't like uh, debris. So I'm gonna run that small filter and that's changeable or I can take it out and spray it with carb cleaner and throw it back in there. So, uh, okay, over to the lathe. All right, now we're gonna drill out that nut. It makes it simple. Yeah, so on the bottom of the gas tank, this will come through. There's a parting tool or cutoff tool, cut that off. got to be an easier way to get a, a fitting for this gas tank that's half inch outlet so basically cut down a brass fitting fits right inside here now I have the outlet here I'm gonna plunge it with a four flute 7 16 end mill going to drill it in there a little bit and that'll be that'll be for this okay that's for my filter that'll go up inside the fuel tank all right so for the final final uh product here uh we need some some better flow so what i did is i took a brass fitting machined it down so and uh, drilled out the hole larger and instead of this small setup here going on the gas tank like this. We now have this setup, which also includes um, a filter, an inline strainer filter that plunges in here, that counterboard a hole. So now this whole assembly can go in the gas tank. Obviously this is upside down. It'll be screwed up on the bottom of the gas tank. I got the tank upside down here, so now I'll be able to tighten this down and put a hose on here to feed this pump. And these are both half inch. I'm gonna do some cleanup work here in the engine bay. With the air-cooled motor, they had the, you know, some of these flanges, if you will, to kind of keep the airflow from the the engine engine bay here would flow through. Here, everything marked out is going to be chopped off. Don't need it for the liquid cooled motor. So, using the cutoff wheel here, working my way around. There we go. 
then moving over to this side I'm going to cut off everything there that's marked out so that should uh, help with the airflow getting getting radiate radiator air out of this engine bay all right next step here before uh i start the paint job back in the engine bay is i'm gonna bore a couple holes here this is cold air intake these intake louvers here on the back of the bus they used to feed the air through a channel or a pocket in the body over here and it would flow in here and cool the engine um, i will be running the air intake system over here because the engine bay will be hot you know with the radiator fans blowing inward it's gonna be a hot area so i saw online a couple of guys have done this where they put the air cleaner in this cavity back here but right now there's no way for cool entry to cool ambient air to get in here so i'm going to punch a couple holes in this panel here that way air can come in from the top through those louvers air into the into the system and then there's a, a, a cap a metal cap that goes in here i'll then drill a hole in that cap and put the air cleaner in that cold pocket i think that's a fantastic idea and i've got uh, all of the sheet metal cut off here what i wanted to cut off i'm going to leave a ledge here on either side for the radiator mounts but i've ground off kind of all the rest of it and scuff the frame a bit and i'm going to shoot this with uh, some rust corrosion preventer first then i'll shoot it with some blue camera up in there that'll be the airflow one big one up in the corner and then this that'll feed that pocket for for getting air up in there be a little bit better than down below just a little less uh you know a little less dirty air if you will so not too bad here's a shot of all the uh, the air ducting I removed from the air cooled section of the bus that will not be needed. I even rounded these corners and kind of folded that in. I think air will just flow better. Idiator. <laughs> <laughs> 